Hi, CLD Nation. This is uh, one of the things we're going to be talking about is awareness. And there's many types of awareness, self-awareness, cultural awareness, situational awareness. Uh, today, as I was hiking up this mountain, uh, not being in shape, um, it became apparent to me that awareness is something that we can use all of our life examples to try to develop more of. Um, when I was in my 20s, I would be sprinting up these hills. Uh, even in my 30s, um, I would try to be macho and maybe catch up with uh, my wife and another male friend that's walking way in front of me and I can't keep up with. But being aware is understanding your own limits. So instead of hopping from rock to rock like I would have done even five years ago, uh, I'm constantly aware of my pace. Uh, I want to try to make sure I step on the easiest path. I don't want to go down and then go up. I'm constantly conserving my energy. That's just a level of awareness that you can apply to just improving the outcomes. Because I know the hike today is really far. And if I don't conserve my energy, I'm not going to make it. Okay? Hi, CLD Nation. Made it to the top. Physical awareness is really just a microcosm of the awareness that we want to develop on a more holistic basis. It's easy for us to understand what our physical limits are. So as we engage in new physical challenges, we start to understand what the limits of our bodies are. And, and for me, I was aware that every step I took was consuming some energy, so I tried to rationalize my energy. I knew that in order to make it to the summit, it was not a sprint. It was about persevering and going the distance. Now, as a microcosm of the holistic approach of awareness that we're trying to develop, it's not just understanding yourself physically. It's understanding yourself in the context of your surroundings and how you're perceived by others. It's understanding the source of your emotions, which a lot of people call emotional intelligence, and how to make adjustments as you're moving forward with your career. So this is a great way to start developing these essential soft skills is really understanding what your own limits are. Start with your physical limits, and then we'll start talking about the emotional and psychological limits.